I've always wanted to bring life to my website, and one day I have seen this, something that could track my cursor's every move. So I created it, and now you can recreate it too. Our main focus is achieving this effect. I created a basic HTML file and styled the body by setting its width and height to 100%, removed default margin and padding, and applied a background color as shown. Next created a center element that acts as a container for all other element. Now you start by adding a face element. Then add an eye element. Inside which add a ball element, which will be our eyeball. Next create another eye element, similar to above one. This is the entire HTML structure, now we will style it. Start by styling the center element, by setting its width and height to 100% and position to relative. Next style the face element, I have initially set the width and height to 500 pixels, set the border radius to 50%. Nothing is visible yet. So add a background as shown, I used a radial gradient to create the depth effect. We can see the face element. To improve the depth effect add a inset box shadow to it as shown. Now we can observe the depth effect. Now change both the width and height to 100 view width from 500 pixels. Face element has occupied the entire screen. Align it by setting its position to absolute at top 30% and left 50%. We can see the 30% gap on the top. Next translate it in X axis by 50% to align it horizontally center. We can see an overflow happening with the face element. To fix it, set overflow hidden for the center element. Now only the required part is visible. Next style the eye element by setting its width and height to 300 pixels and apply a radial gradient background as shown. Then set border radius to 50% and an inset box shadow for the depth effect. Next align them properly by setting their position to absolute at top 12% and left 22%. Both the eyes got positioned at same location, so target the second eye element and set it at right 22% and left to auto. Now we can see both the eyes. Next we will style the ball elements by setting its position to absolute, width and height to 120 pixels and background to black. These are the two ball elements. Next set a radial gradient background to create the depth effect. Then set their border radius to 50% which will create the ball shape. Then set it at top 50% minus 60 pixels. I used 60 pixels because the height of the ball element is 120 pixels. Subtracting half of it from the 50% of parent element height will align it at the center of parent. Similarly set it at left 50% minus 60 pixels which will align the ball elements at center. Here are the radial gradients used for the face, eye and ball elements. Now we will add functionality to chase the cursor. Start by opening a script tag and initialize an array called eyeballs, targeting the both ball elements. Next add a event listener to the document to detect the mouse move event. Then initialize two variables, mouse x and mouse y, for storing the mouse coordinates. We can see the mouse coordinates being logged in the console as the mouse moves. Next store the properties of one of the ball element using get bounding client rect in irect constant. Then calculate the X coordinate of the center of the eyeball by adding its left position value to the half of its width. Similarly calculate the Y coordinate by adding top position value to half of the height. Now that we have got the center of the eyeball, we will calculate the angle between mouse and the center of the eyeball using the mouse coordinates and eyeball center coordinates. We can see the angle values being logged in the console. Next we will calculate the translation x value by multiplying the cos value of the angle with the half of the width of the eyeball. Similarly calculate the translation y value by multiplying the sine value of the angle and the half of the height of the eyeball. We can see the translate values being logged in the console. Finally apply the transformations to the eyeball by translating it using the values calculated as shown. Now we can the eyeball is following the cursor. We can reduce the distance at which eyeball is moving by subtracting a value in the calculation of the translation X and translation Y as shown. We can make the movement happen smoothly by adding a transition of 0.2 seconds for the ball element. Now we need to make the other eyeball to move. For that, initialize A for each loop and move all the below code inside the loop. 
Replace the static eyeball value with dynamic ball variable as shown. This is the entire function inside the even listener. And you gave life to your website. If you find this tutorial valuable then subscribe to the channel.